good morning good morning happy easter from your chef of the day who by the way slept at 6 a.m woke up at 11 if someone didn't call me <laughs> guys meet stella hi guys <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs> we're starting to cook at lunch time but it's well it's nice i did meal prepping last night the chicken um, the potatoes are on the fire. I'm letting them simmer up if I do the potato salad. The liver is going on. Guys, I'm obsessed with my new pants, especially my. Make me sauce. I'm like a child. So, yeah, let me get cooking and yeah, happy Easter. Yes, whose babies arrived in time for a yummy meal tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait. The way I keep filling up my kitchen, you think I don't have the rest of the house to furnish. Oh my days, guys. Ah, you know you are old when such things excite you. <laughs> starting my easter cooking prep by marinating the chicken we're watching it fix the ultimatum but yeah i'll be using the yuca chick super mixed portions <laughs> share with you one of my kitchen hacks guys i add pancake syrup while i'm marinating my chicken coupled with soy sauce i mean i think you can use honey or um, soy sauce but it kind of gives that barbecue ish thing to the meat or the chicken without actually having to use barbecue sauce yeah I, yeah and it really i just do my own things and use the ancestors measurements <laughs> Some of things covered. So oil, that's so much. And then the soy sauce. Give it that color and that you know enhance all the flavors. Welcome to my kitchen. Blah 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 blah. And all oh, the sweetness and the sour and the spice and the pizzazz, pizzazz, pizzazz. And if also don't be me and forget to first make cuts into your meat before marinating because you need the flavor to soak until the bone yeah so yeah now i'm doing that When it comes to cooking on such big days, I always have a set menu. And here I put the potatoes to simmer in the water. I had some beef, I had liver boiling before I could fry it. There was so much to do and this is my favorite feature in my kitchen. I love, love, love my kitchen. I feel like this house was honestly designed for me. As you can see, there is so much going on and honestly, doing the meal preps really helps to cook such a large meal in a short period of time. And the chicken, after having marinated in the fridge, it was time to go into the oven. The spices and everything has soaked in, in until the bone. <laughs>
Let me let me catch you up on it. How long was it? I know. Are you serious? Like a mango older stars. Uh oh. And she's a boss. She's recording you guys. I'm kidding. She's a fire. You should tell us to pray for you guys. It is, I'm um, going to put the green beans. For the sausages, I use the chicken farmer's choice sausages, low fat. For the beef and the liver, I love to boil my meats before I fry them. The green beans were going on, the potatoes were done boiling, and I drained the water. For the pasta, guys, 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 always, always put oil and salt as you boil your pasta before that is what i did and i let it boil until they're ready then i can do the sauce for it and boy oh boy don't you love this mayo ketchup and chili combo this sauce will literally have you eating your food like crazy <laughs> The beef got ready, was soft and tender and I boiled it with onions and garlic and I removed the broth and then I decided to fry it while I was making pilau rice. Look at that, so yummy. I love how thick the pilau sauce or pilau base was. I used the tomato puree that I blended with tomatoes, pepper and onions while adding the tomato paste, spices and everything and look at that that is the meat while i'm also frying it used the other part of the tomato puree to also fry the beef and everything was coming together and if you know in african homes this is a tradition give someone give children winyama before you add <laughs> before you add the broth back for the past i forgot to buy butter while shopping but i used oil garlic put flour put milk as an option for heavy cream cheese this sauce was so cheesy so creamy so delicious added some black pepper and some salt to taste it was so yummy look at that the cheese melts into the sauce very very creamy and then i add my already or rather pre-boiled pasta into it and then i mix and let it sit for a while when I tell you, ah, my God is a calorie burner because this entire meal, guys, that is so well. Look at the, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. For the potato salad, I put mayonnaise, black pepper, salt as a base, and then I diced my potatoes, put some apple cider vinegar on top, my veggies, I put some onions, some red pepper, yellow peppers, fresh parsley, and um, garlic, I think, and then I mix them up, mix, 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 mix that up. So yummy, so delicious, guys. Potato salad any day, any time. And if you add some of the mayo ketchup sauce onto this, it's just like ah, ah, ah. And there we go, Easter lunch is served. Drinks, obviously, our mayo ketchup sauce, potato salad our green beans with carrots and onions in it some steamed matoke bananas chicken sausages we have our yummy yummy delicious liver with peppers in it yellow and red peppers and all the sauce 
we have our creamy creamy pasta and then we have our beef you know we needed something with soup some beef very tender very delicious some pilau rice and our chicken from the oven guys it's jack chicken like this chicken tastes amazing the smile when you have done nothing except to watch and be a <laughs> For me the best part about cooking is the end when everyone is serving and eating and enjoying the food. I grew up watching my mom host people, I watched her cooking for people in and out so many people. My mom loves cooking and that is where I get my inspiration from. So seeing things like this it really 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 brings me joy and I know she'd be happy and I wish she was there with us. But it was an amazing Easter. We had so much fun. Guys, we'll finish the sitting room after I'm done dealing with my kitchen. Because for me, the kitchen is a priority for me. But we had such an amazing Easter. So much laughter. Everyone was eating. The food was amazing. We had some wine. We had good conversations. We had so much fun. We laughed. I'm so grateful that I have this opportunity to do these things for my siblings, to be there for them. I'm so happy and grateful for how far God has brought us and me and my family and the things that we've been through. I love my siblings so much. And I'm also really, really grateful for the gift of friends that have become family, that are always there for me, that bring life and joy into my life. And especially those that blend with my family and my siblings. Yeah, so thank you for watching. It was really, really, really amazing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Let me know which food dishes you'd like me to do detailed um, cooking uh, vlogs, uh, cooking videos about in the comments. And I will be doing more of those. I'll be sharing more. I will be more consistent, like I have been saying. <laughs> so just let me know in the comments what food you want to see. And then I can plan and do detailed cooking videos for you. Otherwise, thank you for joining in. Thank you for watching the Easter vlog, spending Easter with us virtually, even when it's done. Love you. Bye.